Sex is sacred to me. It's spiritual unification. Like, I, like, come on, like, what man you meet that don't release? Right. What man have you met that don't release? That say, you know, my life force is so important to me that I don't release. So it's like whenever I would have a conversation with a woman about that, it's like she, oh, you know, you, you, get, you, you seek an arousal. Are you seeking something that's going to make a wow factor from this? But this is my life. And it's not because I feel like I'm better than nobody. I know the power that it gives me. Like, when you meet men, you can see I meet men that, that, that release every day, all day. And they drained. They brain don't have the cognitive, the cognitive function that my brain has. It's real. They, it's just they not as strong. I'm talking about emotionally, their emotions be in total disarray because you didn't spread your energy, spread yourself too thin with all these different women, mm -hmm. you know, and our semen contains consciousness. Mm -hmm. So you place your consciousness everywhere. Do you ever release or you just never release? You just if 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 I need to release, your body gonna do it automatically. Your body just gonna release. It ain't like teasing you. It's like, oh you probably so mentally no, should be teasing what me. you do is what you do is it's called sexual transmutation. Like when I wake up with they got something called morning wood. Yeah, like yeah, most yeah, men, yeah. I don't just grab a sock and shoot it in a sock. I take that energy from that and jump straight out of the bed and put it into my workout or put it into my music or put it into something that's gonna make me greater. Like sex transmutation. You translate that sexual energy into your craft. I was I was just gonna say like a lot. One like of the a lot of I people that about, get injured like when yeah, you play sports, yeah. like a lot of people that get injured and stuff like that. Like I noticed since I've been well, he got me doing Pilates. But I noticed since I had been like on my yoga journey, uh -huh. I ain't had no injuries. And I noticed that like flexibility since, type. Yeah, and I noticed that since I haven't been releasing, my recovery is like that. Mm. ASAP is it almost makes you God so, like. So you we we in Ramadan now, right? And we talking about sex as well. One of the things I think about as a man, I think about discipline. I feel like for us to reach our full potential as men, we gotta be disciplined. And I look at a couple areas in my life and I could miss a couple, but like sexually, if you can't, if you can't be in control, then you can't, you're not in control, right? Like, can you say no? Can you walk away? Do you have boundaries around what you're doing? Training is another one, how you take care of your body. Like, I feel like you have to have a routine, a discipline around how you take care of yourself. And as athletes, a lot of this is already built in, that routine, that structure. You know, but we're not thinking about sex. And then also food. Food's a big one. Do you have discipline mm -hmm. at the table? Yeah. Like, yeah, think about it. It's hard it like, to yes. walk away. It's hard. And a lot of us don't even think about that. Like, can you walk away? And I brought up Ramadan because, you know, you go through this experience and you got to have that discipline. Yeah. And, and, and when you do that, it's like... When you talk about evolving, and you talk about learning and experiencing different things, the world just opened up. I went, the longest for me, I went seven months celibate really? last year. Damn. Yeah. And I felt powerful. I Turned felt you strong. Into a monster. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they laughing at me. I shared this with my team uh, a couple laughing. weeks ago. No, it was another experience, but like. I'm impressed. That's I released a couple weeks ago. <laughs> you, and look, bro, what I'm telling you. When you was doing that, when we was communicating, you could see it all in your skin. Your glow was right. there. And that's what uh, the woman's ovaries are attracted to. Like, that, you could walk in the room and your aura is so strong, it's called magnetism. I use that to magnetize the things that I want into my life, such as the accomplishments and goals. When I walk in a room, of course, a woman gonna say, yeah, I ain't really feeling him like that. You just saying that because the Don wasn't on location. Mm -hmm. But when I'm on location, you gonna lose your mind because your body, you having a chemical reaction to my oral. You can't help it.